watch the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Monday, the 24th of April. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather warming up in coming days, maybe some strong storms Thursday. And another chance of strong storms is the upcoming weekend wraps up. It's a busy time of the year, so let's dive in there. Big upper trough, upper low coming through the southeastern states, producing cool, unsettled weather. Uh, big rains uh, on top of that upper low through parts of North Carolina and Virginia today. And we've got kind of the backwash clouds, but you can see it's variably cloudy. For some places, the sun is shining. Some, for some places, it's cloudy. The thicker overcast clouds are currently over the eastern side of the state. And that's reflected in the temperatures. Only 58 at Anniston at mid-afternoon. That's almost 20 degrees below average. Birmingham is 67. Tuscaloosa 68. We ought to be in the upper 70s this time of the year. And around the nation, and it's warmer back off to the west. And we'll be close to 80 tomorrow. And then we could see low and mid-80s by Wednesday as the warm air comes back. Flash flood watches for parts of Virginia and the Carolinas ahead of that upper low. Things here are quiet. There's the convective outlook for the rest of today and tonight. Got a marginal risk of severe storms for parts of the Carolinas. Day two tomorrow, a risk of severe weather. Well, to the north and west of the state, places like Tulsa, Oklahoma, Kansas City, Missouri involved in that. Then on day three, this is Wednesday, a fairly large risk of severe storms running from Houston and El Paso or Houston and Lake Charles up through Little Rock, St. Louis and Chicago. Uh, no problems expected here. And at this point on day four, which is Thursday, there is no severe weather risk defined. There probably will be something inserted later. But for now, as the graphic says, the predictability is too low. Now, Friday, here comes the next trough west of the state. And this could be a very uh, active type day for parts of Oklahoma and Arkansas, where they've got a risk of severe weather defined. Saturday, day six, a risk of severe weather from Dallas up into Missouri. And on day seven, this is Sunday and Sunday night, a severe weather risk defined for much of Mississippi and West Tennessee into extreme northwest Alabama. And anytime you've got a risk defined seven days in advance, you have to kind of watch that this time of the year. Uh, it looks like we might see some pretty active storms here as the weekend wraps up. Rain for the next seven days. Heavier totals over the northern and western counties, lighter amounts over southeast Alabama, the really big numbers over Arkansas, Missouri, and Illinois. All right, model fans, here's the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow afternoon at 1 o'clock. This is at 500 millibars, the upper low that brought the cool air to Alabama on the coast of North Carolina, big trough in the western states. Down below that, look at all the snow in the mountains out west. Wow, uh, very cold and snowy. Uh, for us, though, a sunny and warm day. After starting off the day around 50, the high will be around 80, bright and sunny. Wednesday will be warm and dry with uh, low to mid 80s likely. Maybe some active storms west of the state. And this is Thursday. And you can see a batch of showers and storms creeping in here with a surface low well to the north. Thought we'd check the instability. This is coming off the NAM, the 12 kilometer NAM, valid Thursday afternoon at 1 o'clock. And these numbers are pretty robust. This is suggesting instability values down around Mobile could approach 4,000 joules per kilogram. That's almost like summer values with amounts up this way uh, approaching 3,000 joules per kilogram. That's very unstable air. And the STP numbers are looking pretty high over East Alabama Thursday afternoon. I understand this will probably change. Uh, but certainly this is a flag that there could be enough uh, uh, instability, sheer dynamic support for strong to severe storms Thursday afternoon or maybe even Thursday morning in spots. We'll just have to see how it plays out. So we'll mention a chance of showers and strong storms Thursday. We'll assess the severe weather threat as we get closer. And this is Friday. Uh, that uh, that features on by. It looks like Friday is going to be warm and dry. Highs up in the middle 80s. And boy, check out the instability values Friday evening. Uh, off the GFS, uh, these numbers are very robust. In fact, the, the max cape is uh, 5,600 joules per kilogram. That's like August through parts of Texas and Louisiana. And around here, the instability values exceed 3,000 joules per kilogram. But there, there's no dynamic support. There's no lift. So uh, Friday, despite that, looks dry. And the same thing on Saturday. Saturday's going to be very warm. We might approach 90 in spots. High should be 87 to 90, partly to mostly sunny. Severe weather possible west of the state. And this is Sunday. A surface low is near Chicago. And we might see some action during the day, but it still looks like the big event will be Sunday night. A rapidly deepening surface low is located near Indianapolis with a trailing cold front and a very unstable air mass. 
And we'll go to Monday. Look at the negative tilt upper trough. And down below that, uh, deep surface low over Michigan. Storm is moving out. So sometime late Sunday, Sunday night, or Monday morning, it looks like we'll have a chance of strong to severe storms. And again, obviously, at this phase of the game, it's way too early to discuss timing and the magnitude of the threats. We'll just have to watch that. All right, this is uh, the middle of next week, Thursday, the 4th of May. Troughing north and west of the state. New surface low forming over Oklahoma. But if that's right, that would be warm and dry. Check the numbers. They're all over the board off the GFS. This is coming off the 12Z run. Uh, we're in the 60s today. We could be close to 90 by Saturday. Then highs may be dropping back in the 60s by Monday of next week. So it is always a very interesting time of the year in the weather business. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.